something else to take note of today. I want to share with you the thoughts of Samuel Wurzelbacher. You know, Joe, the plumber. Now Joe, the war correspondent. Yes, he's been in Israel filing reports. And here's his analysis as reported by the Associated Press. You're going to love this. Quote, I don't think journalists should be anywhere around war. I mean, you guys report where our troops are at. You report what's happening day to day. You make a big deal out of it. I think it's asinine. I think media should be abolished from, comma, you know, reporting, comma, war is hell. There you have it. Samuel, let me talk to you directly. First, I was born in a communist country, so I'm familiar with people like you and Fidel Castro, by the way not the name drop, who also think, quote, that media should be abolished. Number two, I've covered wars. And while I can't speak for war correspondents who put their lives on the line every day, I can tell you what they do is requisite, essential to our democracy. Whether you've insulted them is up to them to tell you. But I will tell you who you have insulted. 41 journalists were killed last year two already killed this year while trying to practice their craft they can't speak for themselves because they're no longer with us samuel and their children their wives and husbands their fathers and mothers they don't have a tv show so on behalf of them sam let's see you're not really a licensed plumber you're not really a war correspondent and your name isn't even really joe I think we all do know, though, who you are. You know that guy who lives down the street? The guy who shows up at the backyard barbecue when there's free food? You know that guy? Knows everything about everything, but really knows nothing. Hates everything and everybody. Can't understand why anybody would find any fault with him. You know, the obnoxious guy. There's always one at every party or every gathering on every block. You know that guy. We all know that guy. Well, that guy wasn't made famous by John McCain and Sarah Palin. You were, Sam. So we're stuck with you. But it doesn't mean that we can't call you out. In fact, I just did. You can tell me what you think about that at CNN.com slash Rick Sanchez or right now on Twitter, MySpace, and Facebook.